Hey, we turn now to the latest on the Capitol riots and a not guilty plea from a professional actor, director and movie producer accused of assaulting D.C. police on January 6th. Chief investigative reporter Eric Flack is live for us at home tonight in D.C. Flack, would people recognize this guy? Well, I don't know if you ever heard that of that show, Friday Night Lights. It was a pretty successful, long-running TV drama. He actually appeared in an episode of that and has a career that dates back to 2004. The internet movie database IMDb lists Luke Coffey as a Hollywood actor, producer, director, and writer. But prosecutors allege on January 6th, Coffey, quote, used a crutch to assault police officers from the D.C. Metropolitan Police Department. Among those who identified Coffey, a college classmate who these days just happens to be a special agent with the FBI, according to the Department of Justice. Prosecutors say Coffey denied engaging in any type of physical confrontations with police during an interview with investigators. But charging documents say Coffey was in the middle of that violent mob on the steps of the tunnel entrance to the U.S. Capitol when he is seen on video grabbing a crutch at the top of the stairs, which investigators say is the same crutch used by rioters to attack MPD and Capitol Police officers. The charging documents accuse Coffey of lowering the crutch to push it into the line of MPD and Capitol Police. Prosecutors say body-worn camera video also shows after Coffey Coffee was forced back from the officers, the Texas man charged at police while still holding the crutch in a more aggressive manner. Based on the footage, investigators allege Coffee intended to further use the crutch as a blunt object weapon, but was restrained by police and left the area. At today's hearing, pretrial services told the judge that Coffey, who's a 41-year-old Texan, asked for permission to leave his house, he's on home confinement, to go start working again at his production studio, Coffee Productions. Pretrial services, though, had not received any evidence he was actually employed. And so I googled Coffee Productions, the internet lists it as permanently closed. There is a phone number that was still active. I left a message on that for Mr. Coffey, as well as reaching out to his defense attorney for comment. We have yet to hear back. Les? Yeah, not quite the feature presentation you want to be aligned with for sure. All right, Eric, thank nope. you. Nope.